Now to breaking news in that Oregon standoff. The four remaining occupiers may turn themselves in and end their more than month-long protests. The FBI is surrounding them right now, and ABC's Neil Karlinski is in Bend, Oregon with the latest. Good morning, Neil. Robin, good morning. A bizarre and fluid scene out here right now. The FBI moved in overnight and the standoff appeared to be ending, but that is when the four inside who are still holed up in there called out that they feared a shootout was imminent. Overnight chaos at the Oregon standoff as the FBI move in on the final four holdouts now 40 days into an occupation of this federal wildlife refuge. The holdouts live streaming a phone call from inside. In the background, the FBI can be heard telling them to surrender as the four claim they fear the FBI will murder them. Earlier this the week, the remaining time. occupiers we posted center. these defiant videos on FBI. YouTube. I'm tired of you guys telling us what we can and can't do. Showing them lashing out at the FBI and doing donuts in a government vehicle. Yeah! Just last month, the standoff's leaders were arrested during a traffic stop, during which group spokesman Lavoy Finicum was shot and killed. According to investigators, he was reaching for a gun after briefly fleeing. And this morning, Cliven Bundy, the 74-year-old father of the Oregon occupation leaders, who sparked his own fight with the federal government over cattle grazing rights in 2014, also now behind bars, taken into custody by the FBI while flying in to support the remaining Oregon holdouts overnight. The four inside say they will drop their guns and surrender later this morning when a Nevada legislator and supporter of theirs shows up on the scene. But they have changed their minds before, though this time the FBI's patience appears to be wearing very thin, George. Yeah, very dangerous situation. Okay, Neil, thanks.